In this video, I'm going to show you this really awesome stop motion inspired effect right inside of Adobe Premiere Pro. So let's get right into the video. So for those that don't know, stop motion video is basically video that is made out of still images. Now you're most typically going to associate stop motion with those clay action figure movies or the Lego stop motion movies. The basic principle is you're taking photos and every time you take a photo, you're going to move a character or you're going to move something within the frame to create a look of movement. So let's say if you're doing this with a Lego figure, for example, you're going to move the leg up, take a picture, move the leg down, take a picture, move the other leg up, take a picture, move the other leg down, take a picture. Now, when you stitch those four clips together in the edit, it's going to look as if that character has taken two steps forward. But the problem is video is made up of 24 frames per second. This means for one second of video, you need 24 images. But when you're working with slow motion, you're typically working with smaller frame rates. So your frame rate is typically going to be at least half. So that's 12 frames per second or maybe even less. So six frames per second. Now, this lower frame rate look gives your footage a very unique look. And we can go ahead and recreate that with live 25 frames per second footage right inside of Adobe Premiere Pro using a very simple plugin. So let me show you that right now. So once you've got a brand new sequence in Adobe Premiere Pro created, you want to drag your footage onto the timeline. Now I'm just going to drag this one clip onto video layer one, and I'm just going to trim the beginning of the video. And then we'll just trim the end. And then we'll just delete the first and the last part of that video. So we've got this 10 second video of me flipping into the frame and looking into the camera. So this footage was shot at 24 frames per second. That's why the movement looks really clean because there's 24 frames, 24 images for the one second of video. So it's very smooth. So if we go into effects and we search for posterized time, that's posterized time that should be in the time folder. We can drop that onto our footage. And if we play our footage back from the very beginning, it's still going to look identical. And the reason why is because in posterized time, the frame rate is set to 24. So if we half this and go to 12 frames per second, this is what the footage ends up looking like. So as you can see, we're now missing every other frame. So there's a bit of a glitchy look starting to appear. If we take this even further and we go down to six frames per second, you'll see we get this really awesome stop motion inspired look happening on our footage. The really awesome thing is with this effect is you can still add all of your other motion effects and all of your other different effects onto your footage and the time will still be unaffected. So as you can see, I've just added a very subtle push in using the position and scale keyframes. And because we've got the posterize effect on the footage, we've still got this stop motion look appearing on our footage. So there you go. It's a very simple, very easy effect to do. You just have to drag posterize time onto your footage, select your frame rate of choice, and there you go. You've got this really awesome, choppy stop motion inspired effect happening. So if you enjoyed watching this video, or if you feel like you learned something, then please do let me know in that comment section below. And if you're subscribed, then I will see you on the next video. See you there.